Hey -o. so I'm going to do some paper tests with this paper that I um, got in the past few days at um, Depot for Creative for Use. Um, so we'll start with this one. It's lined, um, set up for spreadsheets, databases. Um, I've used a paper like this before, and uh, the ink of the lines runs, which I like. Um, this paper is fairly smooth, um, and each of these I um, put the date that I bought it and a number. So this lined one is number one. And they're all found on July 26th. This is number two. Number three is this paper. It's got a certain amount of thickness and a little bit of a tooth. Um, it actually came on a pad. Um, and it has um, a feel that is similar to watercolor paper. And this paper is also on a pad and it's um, similar to a newsprint. This is a paper that I've, I've found something like it before, um, number five. Um, it's lined binder paper. I think it's old. Actually, now looking at it, it's different than the one that I had previously because this, this edge is, is sharp. Um, but I'm curious to find out about it, see if the lines bleed. This is a curious paper to me. If, you won't be able to see, but if I hold it up to the light, it says Weston Ray's Right Bond cotton fiber content and it's super thin. Um, this is a paper um, that has a bit of a roughness to it. I'm assuming that it's going to be absorbent based on its feel. Um, This one's very smooth and a little bit like newsprint, but a little bit like um, old book paper, but it's smooth. So I'm curious to see. I'm assuming that the water is going to be repelled from that paper. And finally, number nine is this paper, which is similar to the previous, except it has a little bit more of a tooth. Um, so next, I'm going to do two tests for each of these papers um, of India ink and water. I'm going to do one test that's a pool and one test that's various lines. I'm using Winsor Newton um, India ink. These two brushes um, and distilled water. I'm going to put about three milliliters Distilled water again. 
Um, I'm pretty adamant about it being distilled um, so that it doesn't have chlorine in it. So I'm going to rinse this off. First thing I'm going to do is just a wash on most of the paper. Just test how it does with. And when I feel my brush getting dry, I'm going to actually go to the water so that I also see a dilute and like a more diluted. Then I'm just going to let that dry as it is, um, move it over to a, a paper that I have set up to be a dry, dry board. And I'm going to start the next. And so the next is going to be with this brush. Um, and here I'm going to do some asymmetric writing. On that dip I picked up a lot of ink. So I'm going to continue to do this through my series of nine different sheets. Um, and I'm also going to have um, the Democratic National Convention in the background. It's a deal.
Number three, this paper is uh, fairly rough. It's from the pad, and it's um, I don't know, I feel like a little bit watercolor, light. President Obama 
means to this country. He's the embodiment. He is the embodiment of honor, resolve, and character. One of the finest presidents we have ever had. This is a man of character. And he's become a brother to Jill and me. And Michelle, I don't know what you're asking, but you're incredible. Steps well, really I'm going to way up. <laughs> way up. Very nice, actually. But, as I stand here tonight, <clears throat> I see so many friends and colleagues like my buddy Chris Dodd and the Connecticut that delegation. Steps really so, nice. so many people here. I see the faces of those who, uh, who have placed their beliefs in the rock and me. So many faces. But one, this is kind of a bittersweet moment for Jill and me and our family. In 2008, when he was about to deploy to Iraq, and again in 2012, our son Bo introduced me to the country and placed my name in nomination. You got a glimpse. I know I sound like a dad, but you got a glimpse for the incredibly fine young man called Wood. Thank you. Thank you. His wife, Hallie, and his two kids are here tonight. So I want to test this paper with full length. So right now the ink ratio of the water that I'm using is 50 to 50, about 4 milliliters, 4 milliliters of each. I've been made strong at the broken places by my love, Jill, by my heart, my son, Hunter, and the love of my life, my Ashley, and by all of you. And actually, and I mean it sincerely. I'm going to do that right now. You know I mean what I say by all of you. I'm going to add your love, your prayers, your support. Five milliliters of you ink. You know what? We talk about, we think about the countless thousands of other people who suffered so much more than we have. With so much less support. So much less reason to go on. Fill that up and soak like in water. Well, I'll do another sheet of every this. Day. They put one foot in front of the other. They keep going. That's the unbreakable spirit of the people of America. That's who we are. So this is pretty close to That's who we are. pure ink. Pure India ink. Don't forget it. Like the people of the neighborhood that Jill and I grew up in. She and Willow Grove with my town in Wilmington and Claymont. The kid in Claymont, with the most courage, always jumped in when you were double teamed or you were back with yeah, the extra wall. Yeah, I could write forever on so this, a cop with this one dip. Because he always wanted to help people. The middle daughter, the three daughters, always made her mother smile. Who was a hero to her sister, now a major in the United States Marine Corps because, Mr. Press President, I wanted to serve my country. The teacher, the teachers who Jill knows and so many of you know, who take money out of their own pockets to buy pencils and notebooks for the students who can't afford them. Why? Why? 
It's really nice. The way that the full you know ink absorbs. For real. These are the people who are the hardest to the soul of this country. It's the America that I know. The America Please that Hillary knows. Pretty.
Cubs has always been a growing middle class. This guy doesn't have a clue about the middle class. Not a clue. Because, folks, when the middle class does well, when the middle class does well, the rich do very well and the poor have hope. They have a way up. He has no clue. This is number six. This paper is um says Weston raised right bond cotton. I think it will be interesting to try out. Let me say, let me say something that has uh, nothing to do with politics. Let me talk about something that I am deadly serious about. This is a complicated and uncertain world we live in. The threats are too great. Times are too uncertain. Select Donald Trump as president of the United States. It actually seems very cool. No major party, no major party nominee in the history of this nation has ever known I don't think it's or has been less prepared to deal with our national security. I don't think it's so through. We cannot elect the nation. stay on the surface. It is wrinkling it up a lot. It's our fears of ISIS and other terrorists who has no plan whatsoever to make us safer. A man who embraces the tactics of our enemies, torture, religious intolerance, you all know, all the Republicans know, that's not who we are. It betrays our values. It alienates those who we need in the fight against us. Donald Trump, with all his rhetoric, would literally make us less safe. We cannot elect a man who belittles our closest allies while embracing dictators like Vladimir Putin. No, I mean it. A man who seeks to sow division in America for his own gain and disorder around the world. A man who confuses bluster with strength. We simply can't not let that happen as Americans. Period. Oh. I have. No one ever, no one ever doubts to me what I say. It's just that sometimes they say all that I need. But folks, let me tell you what I literally tell every world leader I met with, and I've met them all. It's never. Never, never been a good bet to bet against America. We have the finest fighting force in the world. Not only. Not. Not. Seven. During summers and weekends. And you know, that's how small family businesses do it. My parents, Alan and Kathy, here tonight and going strong, they taught me about hard work and about kindness, and most especially about faith. I went to a uh, Jesuit boys' high school, Rockers High School. Wow, that's, that's a big line for the Jesuits. Now, now we had a we had a motto in my school, men for others. And, and it was there that my faith became something vital, my North Star for orienting my life 
And when I left high school, I knew that I wanted to battle for social justice. Like so many of you. Like so many of you. That's why I took a year off from law school to volunteer for Jesuit
Later I became mayor of Richmond, lieutenant governor, and then the 70th governor of Virginia. And the last yeah. one, number nine. I, um, I was a hard time governor. I had to steer my state through the deepest recession since the, since the 1930s. But, but hey, tough times don't last, but tough people do. And uh, can, I, can I tell you that Virginians are tough people? We are tough people. And we're smart too. We achieve national recognition for our work. Best managed state, best state for business, best state for a child to be raised, low unemployment, high median income. We shed tears along the way. We shed tears especially together in the days after that horrible mass shooting at Virginia Tech that killed 32 people from beautiful 19-year-old students to 70-plus-year-old Romanian-born Holocaust survivors. And we shed tears and held each other up, but afterwards we rolled up our sleeves and we fixed the loophole in the background record check system so that we could make our Commonwealth safe. And we got to do that in the nation. Please. We invested in our people expanding pre-K and higher ed because we all know in this room that education is the key to all we want to be. All we want to be. And now I have the honor of representing my Commonwealth in the U.S. Senate. I, I work on the Armed Services and Foreign Relations Committees to keep us safe at home and strong in the world. I. I work on the Budget Committee with our great Democratic leader of that committee, a spectacular senator who used to be a mayor of Vermont, Bernie Sanders. That's it. Thank you.